Hey, good morning, church family. Good morning to you. How you doing? Are you blessed? Are you healed? Are you free? Are you saved? Oh, my dear brothers and <laughs> sisters in Christ, I know you're saved out there. Hallelujah. Welcome to this morning's 714. But listen, is there is there anyone out there, maybe even just one of you, that is not saved? Are you not sure if you're saved? Or you know you're not saved? Listen, I'm going to tell you how easy it is to do. You just... Yes. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for the forgiveness of your sins. That on the third day, God rose him from the dead so that you could have eternal life with him in heaven. Yeah. You believe in your heart and you speak it with your mouth. All right. And yeah. you say, Lord Jesus, I need you to be my Lord and Savior. And I'll tell you, my friends, that's exactly what he'll do. And he'll come into your life and he'll change it forevermore. Yeah. You're not, your life will never be the same. That's and right. you'll never want to go back Amen. to your old yes. life ever again. Yeah. So listen, if today's the day, do not delay. Yes. Hallelujah. Just let Amen. it, just do it. Yes. Uh, because you need Jesus and that's all yeah. there is to it. You can't, you can't get to heaven any other way. Amen. Thanking God for his word. Yes. I thank God for his thank son, Jesus, Jesus, for what he's done on the cross for each, each and every one of us. Thank you, thank you God for the opportunity to share your word, God with your people. Amen. I thank you, Pastor, also for the assignment yes. that we do enjoy thank this uh, a lot and and we uh, are honored to do it. Yes. So without further ado, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. Honey. What do you got? Hey, the key to happiness, people of God. Mm. Some Psalm 119, 1 and 2. Do you want to read that or do you I want do. me to? I'll read okay, it. Read I got it. it right here. Okay, good. Listen, are you, are you happy? Yeah. Huh? Let's find out here. All right, Psalms 119, 1 and 2. I love this. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole, whole heart. heart. That's awesome. Hallelujah. Yes. People got the word blessed there in this stanza means happy. I thought that was really interesting. <laughs> it is. <Yeah>. Amen. <laughs> what the stanza is saying, which stanza means poem, yes. is saying is the key to happiness is doing the will of God. Ooh, are you happy doing the will yeah, of God? out of his word. Mm. So what is the word, what is his will? Well, I've got a list of things here. We're going to go through them. Yep, we're going to go through them. And I'm going to just, I'm not going to, we're not going to read the scriptures. I'm going to give the scriptures and you guys go back and you guys can read those Absolutely. scriptures. Absolutely, at your convenience. Yeah. The first one is asking for wisdom, who he gives liberally. Yes, James and one without, without reproach. That's in James, James one, one five. One five. Yes. yes, without reproach. Yes. How about rightly dividing the word of God? That's in Second Timothy two fifteen. Can I can I can I expound yeah. just a little bit on this? Uh, we're asking for wisdom. All right, we're going to yeah. ask God for wisdom, yeah. but not for our own intellectual gain, hallelujah, right. but for spiritual gain. That's right, for spiritual gain. That's what gain. we need. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Uh, to feed our, feed our spiritual self is so that we have the understanding. Yes. We say, we, listen, we ask God, we read his word, but we don't always have understanding. Right. God, give me wisdom and understanding yeah. to understand your word, and he will give it to you liberally. That's right. Amen. 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 Psalm 119.105 is keeping keeping his word as your guide in life. It will assist you in any circumstances. Absolutely. He's Amen. Certain, he's, yes. a, he's a light unto your path. Yes. Amen. Yep. Yep. Joshua 1 8 says the um his word shall not depart from your mouth. Amen. Yep. Speaking it always. Yep. Over. Listen, over your circumstances. Yep. You got circumstance in your life. Yes. Listen, I don't know what, what you got going on. Is, is it financial? Is it health? Yeah. Is it relationship? Listen, you got God's word yeah. right there. Your Bible is the, the guide mm -hmm. to, to getting yes. through it all. Listen, yeah. you might be going through something. Hallelujah, going through the valley of the shadow of death, but God is going to yeah. get you through it. That's you're not right. going to stay there. Right, you're not. You're going to go through That's it. Right. Amen. In, in that same scripture, it says Amen. meditating on it, so you observe to do all mm. that is written in it. Yes, That's amen. the key to our happiness. When you do the will of God, he will make your ways prosperous. Yes. Amen. And you will have good, good success. success. Amen. Yes. 
Isaiah 30, 21 says that keep his word as, a, as your divine, your divine guidance. Amen. You, you know what I think is the, the, the one of the coolest things in, in uh, technology today is, is that on your cell phone, you've got a GPS system that will guide you to wherever it is you want to go. But yeah. listen, God is, listen, God has already done that. Yeah, he's our GPS. <laughs> <laughs> he's the very first yes. GPS because he yes. will guide you through yes. all your circumstances. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yes. John uh, sixteen thirteen. His spirit will lead you into all truth with understanding, and his spirit will remind you mm. of Thank you. his teaching, Thank writing you, it on the tablets yes. of your heart. Amen. Thank yes. you, Lord. And he will call it to remembrance. That's in Deuteronomy. 11, 18, and Proverbs 3, 3, 6, 21, and 7, 3. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of scripture. Right? Yes. I hope you're writing that stuff down. Hallelujah. Proverbs 16, 13 says, Turn over your plans to God, and, and your life purposes will come to pass. Yes. <laughs> you want me to say fruition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah. um, Psalm 37, 23. 23 says this, the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord. He delights in his ways. Yes, amen. That's awesome. Nehemiah uh, 9.20 says, his spirit will instruct us and he will not withhold anything. He will sustain, sustain you, you and you will lack nothing. nothing. Hallelujah. And the last one, people of God, is... He, um, Isaiah, Isaiah 48, 48, 17. There's a lot more. I, I had to pick and choose here. So right. he teaches us. He instructs us. He trains us. He prods us. He provokes us to action. Yes. He teaches and leads you by the way you should go. Mm. So what is the key to the ha key to happiness, people of God? Doing the, the will, will of, of God. God. Amen. Amen. You know, God will keep you happy. That's right. Uh, when you listen... When you put your hands to the plow, that's right. When you are doing God's will, yeah. and that that means that you're no longer doing your will. Yeah. Can I help you? Yes. That's like I like what Pastor yeah. says. Can I help you? Yeah. Quit trying to do your own thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And start doing God's thing. That's Amen. Right. We're talking Amen. about kingdom business and not your own business. That's right. Amen. Amen. So listen, I uh, t t t this morning, the today, yeah, as you are. As you're going through about your daily business, listen, start thinking about that. Is this is this the will of God for my life? Yeah. Every time you make a decision, is this the will of God for my life? Yeah. Listen, you wanna you wanna keep God in the forefront. That's right. Not not on the back burner. Right. He's gotta be on the front burner, That's hallelujah. Right. And you gotta keep your eyes on the prize. Yes. Amen. You want you wanna live a happy life? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Do the will of God. Right. Amen. So listen, Amen. remember remember what Pastor always says, keep your nose in the book. Your knees bent to heaven. And your body in the, in the house, house of God. God. Remember this Sunday at 11 o'clock, yep. doors are open. That's right. You are welcome to come on in there yep. and worship God. That's right. Mm. Mm -mm. We're excited. Excited about that. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So Father, in the name thank of Jesus, Jesus, I thank, thank you, Lord, Lord, for this word. I thank yes. you, Lord God, that you have given it to us yes. uh, as a as a, a guide. Instruction. Uh, yes, God. Yes. That you're that you're trying to teach us something. And, yes. and listen, keeping our keeping our minds open, Lord God, I pray that our minds yes. will stay open and our eyes are open, our ears open to hear you, yes. and our eyes to see what you are doing, Father, yes, in this in these days. That we would Follow after you and yes, do God. what you want us to do, God. Do your will. Yes. That each person listening today, Father God, would receive it and believe it and carry it with them. Yes. Wherever they go. In Jesus' name. Amen. And I say amen. Yeah, amen. So listen, we will see you tomorrow morning. You guys have the greatest day ever. Uh-huh. We love you. Yes. Peace. Peace.